That's the news here on Canada AM now. If you look at the weather, it's over to Jeff. Oh, it's over to Bev. Sorry about that. Right. No, that's okay, Marcin. The reason they're coming back to me is because we've been able to reach Grant Rumford. He's with the Mission of Hope. He is in Haiti on the ground. He is also a paramedic. Grant, um, I'm hoping you can still hear me. Can you tell me what the situation is where you are? Grant, can you hear okay. me? It's Beverly. We Go are ahead. About, uh, half an hour. Yes, Beverly. Um, we are about half an hour uh, north of Port of Prince on the National Highway. We're in a rural area. Um, there are no hospitals uh, in this area. Normally, um, we run a small clinic on Friday here. And uh, since the disaster, we have been inundated with um, trauma patients that I would normally take to a trauma center where I work in Ontario. Um, we are receiving virtually every conceivable trauma right now at our small clinic. How are you keeping up with your supplies? Certainly, you know, there's just such a, a, an unbelievable need. How are you keeping up with it? Uh, so far, so good. We did have a, a small surplus of supplies on site here. I expect today they will be diminished or de um, eliminated, used. Um, our, our mission is in the process of trying to uh, set up some uh, replenishment, um, but we're working with what we, what we have. We're very fortunate to have a, a team here from Ontario right now, um, some armed healthcare professionals. Um, it's been a huge blessing to have them here at this very difficult time. And, and you were there um, certainly while the earthquake hit. Where were you at the time? Uh, I was standing in my bedroom. Uh, just We live in a, a two-story building. We have an upstairs apartment. It's concrete block. Um, it was very violent. Uh, from what I can guess, we are at least 30 kilometers from the epicenter from what I've seen. Um, and the house, uh, just incredible shaking. Um, I yelled to my wife and son. We ran out, we ran down the staircase and got away from the building. Um, and fortunately, it collapsed. Uh, they did not collapse. Um, my, my three daughters were already um, outside, so they were, they were safe. Are people, are people still being rescued and brought to you? Absolutely. Um, it's, I'm, I'm, I've got to get down there shortly, but uh, we're still getting patients hours and now are going to be days after the fact that have been pinned. Uh, we had a, uh, a flour mill explode nearby. One of the small, one of the few industries that are in this area um, is decimated. And uh, we had incredible blasts and burn injuries from those patients uh, that were brought here. It is incredible that you were able to be to, to help at least some of the Haitians there. Thank goodness you were there, and and thankful your family's okay. Um, we know you have an incredible amount of work ahead. I don't want to take up any more of your time, uh, but but Grant Rumford, thank you so much for everything that you're doing and for speaking with us this morning. You're very welcome, and we're very appreciative for the Canadian people's thoughts and prayers and, and support. An unimaginable task that he has. We're going to send things over to Jeff now for a weather update. Well, you know, you talk about the communication. I mean, you know, some all the devastation, and, and I believe he was on Skype, so through the through the internet to be able to get to us. Uh, wow, just something to watch that.